I'm not really nervous. I, I just, I'm sick of going insane. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying your day. I've been scheduling a lot of phone calls, been playing phone tag quite a lot, and to be quite honest, I'm sick of it. I kind of scheduled another phone call, and uh, well, I got a lot to do. I saw my dude Larry at the post office. Now I'm gonna head up to the warehouse real quick and then try to get back before that phone call. That looked real purposeful, didn't it? I had to get some snow bug measurements. We're off. It wasn't snowing before I went inside. Holy smokes. So now just like the last couple days I have to go play taxi because my truck's in the shop and it has been for the last couple days. I'll explain more about that in a little bit. This is exactly why I'm building the snow bike. Yeah, somebody must have hit somebody. We need to talk. So I'm already planning for the next couple builds after the snow bike, but it's gonna stay a secret because uh, that's what keeps this whole machine running like a well-oiled machine. Curiosity killed the cat and it'll always kill the cat. And you better believe your bottom down that I am going to speak more about this. But for now, we're gonna put these up here. Now I'm just getting started on the projects. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a good one. Like they say, out of sight, out of mind. I got a wall of plate to the snow bike. You guys know this thing. So far so good with the snowflake build. Like we're, we're making the deadlines, we're ordering the right parts in time. Everything's like meshing together and calculations are, are going swell. You'll see part two to the build video on Monday at 6 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. One of the topics of discussion is the, the whole taxi situation. I'm using my mother's car, so that's not mine. You guys know that I actually hit a deer with my Duramax. I was on the throughway for, let's see, just about 45 minutes, and I slammed a deer. So that really stunk because it took us a week to actually paint just, just the one side before the deer hit me. My cousin and I took like a week and a half to completely paint my truck in my driveway using just an overhead tarp or tent, whatever. There's a lot of time spent on that project and a lot of dedication on that project. Now the people that saw it at the meet said that the paint job was wonderful, especially when I did it in the driveway with my cousin and my brother. So I hit the deer, well I, I guess the deer hit me. The deer hit me on the throughway at like, I mean it's the throughway, it's pretty quick. So, so I hit the deer then, went down my entire side of my truck. Holy sh So then I called up my insurance agent and said, hey, I hit a deer, what, what do we do? We got it all figured out, I went up to the body guy, he gave me a quote, he gave me a timeline. Well unfortunately the truck has taken a little bit more than double the time that he said it would take. And I don't have a rent a car situation. So I'm using my mother's car, my mother's Lincoln. Like I said, it's not mine. Mine's a diesel, hers is not a diesel, even though it smokes like a diesel. Why is this not turning on? 
Jason, we're, we're having a situation here. The TV isn't working. TV might be working. Oh, we can see what the outside looks like without being outside. Holy cats. This is why the uh, school activities are closed for the day. Yeah, that's some. That's coming down pretty quick. Good thing that car has four-wheel peel. Otherwise, I probably would not make it out of the driveway. Those security cameras are coming in handy. Mix that with uh, the weapon wall. So now it's looking like I'm not going to get my truck until next Tuesday. And if you're watching this, and uh, I made this video and uploaded it in the same day. So it, it's not a good situation, especially when it's getting uh, snowy and cold and wet. And that car only has all season tires. My Duramax has winter tires and we're going to need them. And plus, ironically, my mother was in an accident at the exact same time. She didn't cause the accident just like myself. Uh, somebody hit her. And uh, a bumper on a Lincoln, a rear bumper on a Lincoln is very, very... Kids, do not hit Lincolns. They are expensive. Just, just some friendly word of advice. I would also like my truck for other reasons such as my garbage pile. Let's just say it's getting extensive. I, however, do not miss warming it up. Some word of advice before I get to our next topic. Can you see? No, you can't see. Jesus, that's heavier than I thought it was. This vice, should I mount it to the steel table so that I can weld with it, or should I put it like on an actual uh, bench or something? I want your advice because I originally thought, hey, I'll mount it onto the table so that I can weld and, and you know it can move and things like that, and I can have it in a wide open area. But then Jason's like, well, if you have it mounted on the wall, you can, you know pound things harder and, and it's anchored, then you have more surface area to work with. And I mean, both, just just leave your opinion in the comment section below. We'll, we'll see with more people comes more ideas and the more ideas, the better. Okay. Japers. Topic of discussion. Everybody is wondering about this because I am wondering about this and Seth is wondering about this. So like lately I understand that the upload schedule is really, 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 with really wacky and that's because well I got a chalkboard I might as well use it. It's, it's snow. I'm going to act like something I never thought I would act like and that's a, a teacher. Hey I'm still young and who knows? Two things. Consistency and insanity. Consistency is like doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same results, where insanity is doing the same thing over and over and trying to get different results. I'm between a rock and a hard place, and what that means is, do I continue to do the same thing and get the same results, or am I, am I insane and trying to do the same thing and get different results? And that's where you have to just finally take the risk you have to try to get the reward, and that's the boat I'm in. So I've decided I'm not going to go insane. December this month is 3D Machines Month. We are going to give you the entertainment that you deserve, that I should have been giving you the last couple months, and I have not, I have failed to. I'm really thinking about doing something, and I will update you guys tomorrow whether I do or do not do that. Um, Wish me a safe travel back to my house. I hope you guys drive safe if you have to deal with snow. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Steve Froggy, fresh. See you later.